The latest Spotlight Terror Raid event featuring Garchomp and Sylveon is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and we're going to cover all of the details in today's video. But before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So hopping over to our trusty source at Cerebi, we can take a look at the details for this particular event. It will be running from the 17th of February as of recording this video and will be running up until the 19th of February, which will be this Sunday night. And it normally finishes around midnight UTC. Uh, but if you don't go online after this event ends, you will keep this event in your game until the next time you go online. So just bear that in mind. The event itself will be made up of only four and five star Terror Raid Pokemon, constituting of both the Sylveon and Garchomp, which will feature in both versions of the game. So you don't need to go online and find a player with the opposite version to yours to get the other Pokemon like we have done in previous Terror Raid events. The Sylveon will be available in four and five star raids. One of the Sylveons will have its specific fairy terror type tied to it. The other five star Sylveon will just have a random terror type and all the four star will just be random as well. All the Sylveons are going to have their hidden abilities possible. So even the four star can have that pixelate ability. The moves that the four star is going to have is going to be hyper voice, takedown, disarming voice, charm and additional move calm mind. So even the four star Sylveon raid can boost its stats up so that's something to keep in mind we covered the potential of it having calm mind in our preview video so taunt is something that you want to keep in mind in your builds when you're going in against this it is only going to be level 45 though so it shouldn't be too difficult to deal with and then the item drops itself you're going to get medium and large candies you're going to get the regular stuff that you would get like terror shards and then some berries as well as some higher cost items like a big pearl and a nugget so the item drops for a four star raid not too bad now moving on to the five star raid they're going to be a little bit more difficult level 75 of course pretty much most of the same details except their moves will be slightly different with hyper voice terror blast this time moon blast yawn and calm mind so yawn going to be a bit of a tricky one Definitely advise taking something with Taunt in against the Sylveon or something maybe like Goldingo, which could reduce the special defense with the metal sound it has on there and it doesn't get affected by the Yawn with its good gold ability. So that is something to keep in mind going in against specifically Sylveon, but Taunt a nice option anyway. The item drops for the five star raids are pretty decent. As always, you're gonna get large and XL candies. Again, more terror shards here for whatever terror type it will be. And then you're gonna get feathers, big pearls, pearl string, nuggets, nature mints, PP ups, bottle caps, and the chance to get an ability capsule as well. So some good item drops here for the five star. And they're both the same item drops for the signature terror type five star as the regular five star one. And then we'll move on to the Garchomp. The Garchomp gonna be pretty similar in respect to the Sylveon. Four star gonna be level 75. It's gonna have its hidden ability possible. So rough skin gonna be a, a possibility on there. Bulldoze, Dragon Claw, Rock Slide and Bite are the options on the 4 star with Sandstorm as its additional move. With the same item drops that you would get in the Sylveon Raid Den. The 5 star Garchomp though is a little bit stronger because it does have the additional move Sword Stance here. And it does have Earthquake of a Bulldoze and Iron Head of a Bite. So taking Fairy types in against the Garchomp could be a little bit problematic. And it will be a difficult Pokemon to take down because it is just a lot stronger than your regular Pokemon being a pseudo legendary. And like the Sylveon 5 star Terror Raids, you're going to have random Terror types for the 5 star Garchomp. And there will be a specific Garchomp with the Ground Terror type tied to it as well. Item drops for the 5 star Garchomp going to be exactly the same as you would get for the 5 star Sylveon some good items in general and a bonus for beating the stronger pokemon but like i said that is all the details for this event you've got a few days to take advantage of it from the 17th to the 19th of february to access the spotlight terror Raid event all you need to do in game is come to your poker portal this will then take you to this page come down to your mystery gifts and although you might know this already you want to come down to check poker portal news you do not need a Nintendo online subscription to get this event, but to go online and do these raids online with other players, you will need an online subscription to do that. But just to get the Terror Raid Spotlight event in your game, you're not going to need a subscription. So you just need an uh, internet connection and you'll be able to get this event. Once you've got it, you'll get this update message dialog box here, and that will indicate that all your Terror Raid event dens have been updated. 
and you'll have the event in your game. Now, this will stay in your game until the next time you decide to go online. So uh, you can keep this event for as long as you want or until the next time you go online. Once you've got it, you just open your map and you will be able to identify these spotlight terror raids around the region. And they will be identifiable with this white kind of extra aura around the terror raid den. Here we've got the fairy terror type den here, which will likely be the Sylvian one and the ground type spotlight event, which will be more than likely the Garchomp one. We'll head over to the Garchomp one first and this should be the Garchomp one. And as you can see, it is the Garchomp one. It isn't the five star terror raid, it is the four star. So if you want the five star, for the better item drop you can just go on your map and locate another one of the ground type spotlight raid event so if you do get to the point where you beat all the spotlight terror raids or you haven't got the specific terror type ones that you want and you want to change them what you can do is hit your home menu then come down to your system settings then down into system then down into date and time just make sure your clock is off via the internet click into date and time and just a through click OK, come back into your game and then all the dens will change and you'll get a bunch of new ones to explore and challenge. And here's the ground type one and it is the five star one. It is the signature terror type for this. And we are going to use our Orthworm, which we covered in our preview video, which went over the best builds for the Garchomp and the Sylveon. I picked out Orthworm as probably the one that you can take in against both of them and it should do a good job in this one. So the idea with Orthworm is we just want to get a few coils before we want to start attacking. Obviously with the Earth Eater ability we are immune to any of the ground type attacks that Garchomp does throw out at us and we are boosting our defense at the same time. So Garchomp you can see here is kind of restricted to using Rock Slide or Dragon Claw of one of its options to hit us with it and neither of them are going to be doing super effective damage. And there we go, the Garchomp is down and out and on Honestly, uh, Orthworm did a pretty good job at taking it down. It is a little bit slow in doing it. So this is why I would say maybe Azumarill is probably a quicker method to doing it. Just like I say, get your belly drum up and then just launch attacks that are going to be super effective against whatever terror type it's going to be. But Orthworm, a really good option. And I don't think you're going to lose using Orthworm against the Garchomp if you do decide to go with it. And the rewards, we get large candy, XL candies. We get a bunch of terror shards and some really good high cost items, including an ability patch and two big pearls. And this should be a fairy five star Sylvian and it is and we can again go in with Orthworm and see how it does against the Sylvian. The Sylvian has put us to sleep so let's see if the sleep talk does come into play here. This is one of the reasons why we used it so just to get around the yawn because it can be so problematic and we do actually get quite lucky and land an iron head with it so it is pretty useful and it will come into play if you do use the Orthworm against specifically the Sylvian with that yawn that can be quite problematic. And there we go, the Sylvian is done and the Orthworm coming through again and dealing with it pretty well. So a good option against both the Garchomp and the Sylvian and something different as well, other than the kind of main Pokemon that we would use normally. Again, gonna get really good uh, item drops here, a lot like the Garchomp, a lot more large candies here than we got with the, the Garchomp. So that's quite nice, some rare items and an ability capsule as well. There we go, there is our Garchomp, the ground type and the fairy type Sylveon. Really nice event for two super nice Pokemon and Orthworm doing a super good job in both of those terror raids. So a good one to use, like I say, if you want to use the builds from the video that we did and previewing this event, check out in the link above and it'll be in the description below as well. But that is everything that we wanted to cover today. I hope you have a lot of fun if you take part in this Terror Raid event over the weekend. Obviously, remember, you've only got a few days to take part in it because it will be ending on the 19th of February. But a great event nonetheless and nice for once that we get all of the same Pokemon in each different version of the game. If you found today's video useful, please drop a like. It does really help out the channel. Make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with all of these latest news and events that are happening in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, as well as the rest of the content that we do covering on these games. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like I say, have a great rest of your day. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care and bye-bye.